a lot of it emotional. I do sometimes. It's, it's, uh, this place is so special. It brings out all sorts of emotions in me. It really just... But it's a lovely place. I love it. I don't like saying goodbye to that area where the streams are. So gorgeous. It's at its peak now. Ultra quiet, isn't it? Oh, everyone's at Western Expert on the beach. I don't know if people can sit on a beach in this heat. This is the cooler of the days. I've taken my hat off for a minute because I'll tell you what, I'm going to really need it soon. It's going to be very, very hot when I get to the exposed area. I just can't take my eyes off this place. An oasis, a beautiful oasis. I love it so much. I'm so glad I worked out a way of getting here. With different ways to come now that I found a that croaking walk was all right once you've gone over that first bit if you zigzag it's not too bad <sighs> now what, what do we have to get the bus on the hour in order to get the connection. I've got a feeling we do because if we get it on the half hour, sometimes the bus is late. Don't give you enough time to get on the platform or anything. I have climbed up that big hill before. Found a young staghorn there once, which I've still got. Of course, I can't go through here without mentioning Wordsworth and Coleridge and Dorothy, who loved this place as well, loved it. 200 years odd ago, they walked here. And their spirit is still here, passing on the beauty. These trees, this beautiful, beautiful place. Beautiful place. near the stream. The babbling brook. I haven't decided whether I'm doing Weekham today. I might do a bit more coup. I haven't decided. Um, the reason I was going to do Weekham is so I could pick up a path that would take me to an alternative bus stop and I, I really should do it really to explore that area and um, so I've got an alternative way 
until I do it, I won't know. Unless you do what you did today with Crocum. Get off and then find your way. Little stream, look. Hello, lovely wood. Hello, lovely deer. I know you'll be up there somewhere. Sheltering in the warm and the cool at the same time. I'll be going out into the exposed area very soon, so I'm going to take some more photos. I'm just going to have a drink. Very last moments of the camera now, I think. There's a little bit of the bubbling brook here. Trickling by. Saying hi. Lush greenery everywhere. I came earlier in the year and everything was dead, wasn't it? And I said the ferns was would grow really tall and high and of course they do. Look how lush they are. <clears throat> and these various smaller trees are providing lots of shade for me still as I progress up, upwards and onwards towards Bicknoller Post. I saw two women with a dog, two dogs, then I saw two blokes probably about my age, rucksacks going by. We all said hi, and that's it so far. I saw very early on a young couple, I don't know where, what happened to them, they did, they did carry on up the nap and I saw them the other side going down. Um, look at that old tree, you've been there for years, you remind me of Humpty Dumpty, you do. I've sat on this log with Georgia and had a pit net once, it's been there for a long time that one. And when Georgia was about 14. I've been there a long time, that one. Yeah, I've met um, another co older couple. I've met a, a few couples, yeah. Not many. No children. There was some kids that sort of got out of a car with their family and then they got back in it again. So I don't know where they went. It's just weird that they got them all out. And then they put them all back in again. I don't know if they drove off or they drove somewhere else in the car park. It was very strange. Like I said, when I get to Bicknoller Post, I'll make the decision whether to do Weecombe or Bicknoller Coombe. I'm not going over the top. Um, I might, I might go over the top and then turn like I did before and down that small downward bit. And then do the Coleridge Walk for a little bit. I might do that. I would like to do Weekham really, but I think oh, I've done an awful lot. I don't want to make a mistake. At this stage of wandering down Weekham to find that there isn't a bus stop or it's, it's somewhere else. You see what I mean? I don't want to make that error. So I think I have to do it in reverse get off there and do it the other way around. That's what I'm going to do I think so basically that's what I'll do. So I won't do, go down it today, I think there's a lot to do <clears throat> even though it's a lovely day and everything.
We're still going. This isn't flashing anymore. I think it's relying totally on what's left in its own battery now. Right folks, this is literally the last leg of this film. The battery is not flashing on the charger anymore. It's dead. We've just got what's left in the camera just to get up to pick not our post. That was a hot walk that last sort of half an hour a bit when it was right in the heat of the sun. That, that last bit. Of course earlier I was right over there of course. I can actually see a fire um, burning over there. Or is it, um, oh no it's it's not a fire, I don't think. It looks like a fire, but I think it's that tree. There's a tree that's very white. I don't think it's a fire. I've got a feeling that I've seen some deer over there a minute ago. I did actually see some deer and I've got them on, not video, I, I'm, I got them on photo, I think. Right, I'm going to go up to the next tree. Just going up a little bit further to pick on a post and then um yeah there's cows up there look I can see them I can see cows oh, at the moment I'm not really bothered I don't have to go near them I can go round round them I've just seen a big cow then Just keeping the camera rolling for the last minute or so. It's going to pack up in a minute. And we can, we've got Beacon Hill coming into view. Beacon Hill. And then we've got a load of cows by Bitten on the Post. Look. A load of cows sheltering by Bitten on the Post. Right, I'm going to turn off a picture of them. And I'll take a picture of 